Leading our bulletin this hour, suspended crime intelligence boss Richard Mluli has been relieved of his duties from the South African Police Service. Police Minister Fiele Balula says the decision was amicable and comes into effect immediately. Mluli will, however, be getting his pension and other entitlements. He says the unit will get a new permanent head by February. I wish to announce that Lieutenant General Richard Mluli who held the position of Divisional Commissioner Albeit under a long suspension, with mutual agreement will be relieved of his duties with immediate effect. This enables us to move to the next chapter and instill stability and vision at crime intelligence. We're not going to continue to pay senior officers while they are sitting at home. We want all those who are active in the service and paid or earn a salary to do the work. There has been a disciplinary process going on in the case of General Juli, and that particular process was driven according to the regulations. We're not going to continue to pay senior officers while they are sitting at home. The mutual agreement part that we have reached with the general was to say that he's not he's no longer far away from finishing. We don't want to tamper with the regulation process as well as any other criminal investigation processes they, they take they follow their course. Then we then agreed that we relieve him so that we get someone who will come in and render the service uh, to the community. The minister also said that former head of Hawks, Burning Clemeza, has officially resigned. He said the position for a new chief has now been advertised. This follows the Constitutional Court's dismissal of Clemeza's application for pardon and leave to appeal his dismissal. The case of General Burning Clemeza has history at various court levels, and on the 13th December 2017, Constitutional Court has decided on 6 December 2017 or that, that Mr. Nklemeza's application for leave to appeal be dismissed, therefore disposing of the matter. Mr. Nklemeza has since signed the relevant retirement documents.